Tonight we have big news to share with you at the end of this month. The price of freedom is going to Vietnam and we have a lot planned and we have lots of details coming soon. One place we will visit is Way City. East Ridge's Larry Lewis fought in the Battle of Way City in 1968. Coming back home and and uh, you, you got all the pressures of the of the country on, you know, people protesting in front of you, people meeting you at the airport. Uh, wanting to fight you. Did that happen to you? Did, they, did you have a problem at the airport when you came home? The thing that probably helped me the most was I captured a weapon over there and the provost marshal, t uh, I got papers to bring it back home. The provost marshal told me I had to keep the rifle on my person, you know. So if you can picture it, I'm walking down the middle of LAX with the rifles. So, I mean, you, I wouldn't even have got close to the terminal there <laughs> in this day and time, but I'm walking down the middle of the uh, LA X there and it's like a C they're just they're going to the side. You still have it? Yes. Is it here? Yes. An SKS rifle. He's had it since early 1968. Got it in Way City. Larry Lewis told me the story of how he got it. We got ambushed and this was the day after Sergeant Gonzalez had had been killed. Five men were awarded the Medal of Honor for actions at the Battle of Way City. Larry Lewis fought with two of them, John Canley and Alfredo Gonzalez. Sergeant Gonzalez was killed during the battle. And everybody was just really just upset, tense, and just there was a lot of pressure. I saw a head pop up somewhere. So I instinctively got up and started running. And after about 10 yards, I realized I was by myself. So. I said, okay, so I kept going, and uh, they're shooting at me, rockets, and but I uh, get to the window, and I jumped through the window and hit, I think I hit one when I went through, and I had a uh, M16 with another one. That house turned out to be a cash house for, it had uh, rockets, it had uh, Chicom grenades, it had all kinds of ammunition. When the fighting died down, he was with one of his staff sergeants in that house. I said, can I take the AK-47? He said, no, they won't let you take that one. I said, what about the other one? He said, the SKS? I said, yeah. He said, yeah, you can take it. He kept the rifle for the rest of the Battle of Way City, for the rest of his time in the war in Vietnam, and ever since then. It has some writing there, some there, I don't, I don't know what any of that means. He also showed me a few more things he's kept since the war. He brought home this flag. And where'd you get this? I got it at Way City also. And this boonie hat where he was counting down the days when he could come back home. I think that was homeward bound right there. We will leave for Vietnam on August 31st. In addition to going to Way City, we will also visit the site where Medal of Honor recipient, Marine Corps Sergeant Rodney Maxwell Davis was killed in action and much, much more. Look for more details right here over the next few weeks.